Um, this will be the series of checkpoint questions that uh, I'm going to be looking at uh, within this season also. Also, it will help with preparing you for your checkpoint exam and also the end of term exam in the biology aspect of uh, the Cambridge checkpoint syllabus. So, without wasting so much time, we'll be looking at classification and char characteristics and classification of living organisms. So, the first question here is. All living things have seven life processes, and the seven life processes is represented by, if you remember this, Ms. Gren. So if that is the case, then fill in the two missing uh, life processes. So here we have nutrition, we have uh, movement, uh, we have reproduction, we have sensitivity, we have respiration. So we don't have this and this, and that represents growth. And excretion. So, the next question is: uh, There are seven characteristics shared by all living organisms. Uh, so, complete the table. So, still the same, Miss Gren. I will just look at. So, M can be for movement. They've done S for us, so we can have this as reproduction. R. Then um, G growth. Then I have excretion. I have nutrition. There's one left. Um, growth, excretion, respiration. Okay, now you get your three marks. Then the next question is. Which processes releases energy from food? Um, so respiration is a process, it's a chemical reaction that breaks down nutrient to release energy. So the answer is respiration. Then next is which processes represent the removal of waste? Is excretion help the removal of waste from an organism? The next question is uh, is this. So the diagram shows a mother fox and her cubs. So uh, there are seven characteristics that all living things, all living organisms uh, display and show, yeah, which we've been able to list. Now, one of these is movement. The mother fox is moving towards the cubs. Now, explain how the diagram. So we are going to be using the diagram to show two other characteristics of living organism so one basic thing you find that the fox is doing here is nutrition it's one characteristic and the question also demand that we state uh, the explanation for same nutrition so I can say the mother uh, sorry The mother is feeding the cubs. Now, the next uh, characteristics that I can pick from here is reproduction because the mom is able to give birth to live young, so she has cubs. So, then give birth to live youngs. Okay, that's it for that. Now, a fox is a mama. How does the diagram show this? Now, if you look at that, you find out that that. Um, Based on the diagram, they all have four. All the diagram shows that based on this diagram, the mama here, they all have four. That's on their skin. And um, so, so using the diagram, I think that is the best answer. So how does the diagram show this? So four is present. 
So one more question. So that's enough. Uh, now, class three have a quiz about humans and other animals. Write the answers to the clue. Animals that have feathers and fly are called birds. Now, carnivores are animals that eat. Uh, carnivores are animals that eat flesh. Animals that eat meat, flesh, or you can write other animals. Then, here it's a rabbit is a living thing because uh, uh, what will make a rabbit live a living thing is because it shows the characteristics of a living thing. So it can move, it can respire, it can excrete. Can grow. Growth. So any of those will go for the answer quickly. There are hundreds of different species in the world that is established because with this you actually look at classification of living things. Now this is why scientists need to be able to group them. Now we do this by looking at their futures. Now complete the table to show which future the following animals have so you just need to tick the boxes so mammals uh, based on this mammals have backbones and we have hairy skin fish so most fish have um, if you look at this they have scales and fishes also also have backbones birds birds have feathers and birds also have backbones reptiles Reptiles have scale and they also have backbones. So that actually will give you the complete answer that you're looking for in relation to this question. So moving forward, let's see the next question will be Animals can be classified into different groups. Now complete the table. Choose the following choose from the following group so we have groups here and we just need to identify which of these animals fall within this group now snakes snake are reptiles um, this is an uh, represent an arthropod because that's an insect the wolf is a mama and the frog is an amphibian. So next, uh, what characteristics do all vertebrates share? So all vertebrates have backbones. Now, to which group of vertebrates does each of the following animal belong? A snake, um, are reptiles. Snake are reptiles. Frog are amphibians. Which type of body covering is a characteristics of both? reptiles and fish both of them have scales so that's it now scientists classify uh, anthropods into four groups four main group depending on their number of legs so the diagram shows example of three of these groups and draw a straight line to match each anthropod to its group now we have three anthropods that have three pairs of legs uh, that six legs are insects, um, five pairs of legs are crustaceans, and uh, four pairs of legs are arachnids. So there's no mariapods. Mariapods have many legs. Now, all anthropods have jointed legs. Describe two other characteristics 
uh, that we use to identify anthropoids. Now, all anthropoids have exoskeleton. Another one is all anthropoids have segmented body. Okay, we're good with that. So, moving forward, uh, so the picture shows two insects, a hoverfly and a web. Now, both, in, uh, both of these insects can be found living in the same place. Um, the webs can give a very painful sting to an animal or another insect, while the hoverfly has no sting. Now, write down one advantage to the WAPs of being able to stink. Um, for it to be able to stink, it's the major advantage there will be for protection. So, to be to protect itself against predators. To protect against predators. Now, give write down one advantage to the hoverfly of looking like uh, the waps. Now, the major advantage to have is uh, it will be able to fool pre um, predators. So, um, for uh, as a result, predators are not going to attack it, thinking they will be stink by it. Now, the next question is. Sorry, uh, the next question is this. Some WAPs catch and eat other insects. They catch and eat other insects. So, write down, who's, uh, write down which word describe one of these WAPs. Now, remember we stated earlier, animals that catch and kill other animals are carnivores and uh, they can also be predators. So, that's, that's it. Let's move to... The next question. Okay, good. Think. A student grew lots of different plants in his garden. Different plants in his garden, and his plants are being eaten by insect pests. Now, this is helping us to understand the concept of dichotomous key. Dichotomous key in identifying organism. So, um, these are some of the insects in, in which he found in his garden. Now, he uses the key to identify this insect. Dichotomous is just a two-part name that you follow until you are able to arrive at the exact name of that particular organism. So, quickly, without wasting so much time, let me just show you how, to, how you use it. Now, use, he uses the key to identify this insect first. So, uh, first, worm-like body with no antenna. So which organism here have a worm-like body with no antenna? I think A and B have it. So if the two segmented body covered in hairs, A has a segmented body covered in hairs. So this is this organism present A, so it's called uh, a pieris. Now smooth segmented body with no hair, that's B, obviously. If that is it, then we'll now move. Has large antenna and six jointed legs. So let's see. They all have this C, D, E, F has antennas and their legs. If you count it, one, two, three, four, five, six jointed legs. So good. Wings are covered by a large wing cases. Now, um, I think C and D are covered with large wing cases, as you can see. So now wing case are not patterned. So that's C. C, the wing case of C are not patterned. But in D, you can see the pattern on the wing scale. So that means this is organism D. Now moving to the next part is wing cases are small or absent. Um, what does it represent? Is it has a rounded body with straight tail pieces. Uh, rounded body with straight tail you, this has a round body, but the tail straight, 
So that's of Nizen. Then the next one is long body with curved tail, which is this. So this is E, and this is of Nizen F. So let's go to the question now and see. We've been able to identify the of Nizen using the dichotomoski, and usually that's all you'll be asked because now they said the table gives the scientific name of the six pairs. Use it. So remember the way it's arranged. Uh, this is. A. Okay, sorry. Let me. Let's go back. Let me uh, see if I could. Okay, they're not together. So uh, first, okay, is B. The, the C, this is supposed to be the B. Then the second one there should be F. The third one there is you can see D. The fourth one there is uh, so let's see um, C. The fifth is E, and the last one is A. So I have E and A. That's all. Now the next question is: Give two characteristics features of insects that you can see on the diagram of insect D. So going back to uh, insect D, uh, you find out that it has it has six legs and it has antennas. It has six legs. Um, the body is divided into segments. So. Let's see. Insect D. So you see the body is divided into the head. This is the thorax and abdomen. So the body is divided into three parts. It also has one, two, three, four, five. And six legs. So usually, for for checkpoints to be difficult for you to be given any question outside what we've looked at, when it has to do with classification and uh, characteristics with using identification or dichotomoski. Now, uh, the picture shows. Let me just do another example of dichotomoski. Then I'm going to end this video. Uh, the picture shows four different birds. Now, use the key to identify bird X and Y. Now, uh, curve beak go to two. So uh, Y has a curve beak. So I'm going to come to number two. Now, beak is curved upwards. The beak is not curved upward. It is downward. So beak is curved downward. Go to three. So I'm coming to three now. Strip above the eye. So it has a strip. This is eye it has a strip above it. So the name for organism Y will be. Wimbrel. That's all. Then uh, it has a straight beak, and that's the name. This has a straight beak. So just come. Or a star catcher. That's all. So, um, okay, let me finish this question. You say all, all the pictures in A show animals which belong to the same group called birds. Three features of birds are they have feathers, they lay eggs, they have backbones. Which feature is unique to bird? That is, which feature is not shared with other groups of uh, vertebrates? So, 
if you look at that, you find out that, that um, birds here it's that that they have feathers, they have backbones. So which feature is unique to birds from this set of features? Uh, feathers is unique. Is very unique to birds. Now, which feature do birds have in common with all other organisms? Which feature is common to birds? Uh, they have it all other organisms. It's backbone. They share backbone with other organisms. So. Okay, this has to be dichotomous case, so with the initial explanation, I think you should be able to do it. Um, I think this also dichotomous case, so see what I was saying about dichotomous case. Uh, a lot of it comes out in the exam, so you just need to go through it. Okay, that's it. I think I've covered all, that, all the aspects. Uh, so in the next video, we're going to look at animal and plant cell. So uh, thank you for your time, and please always remember to subscribe to get constant notification.